How's it going, friends? Reckless Yuki here. Hopefully, you are doing fantastic. And this video, I'd like to talk about is Black Ops 3 worth your hard earned cash? Is it going to last the entire year until the next Call of Duty comes out? Is this going to be the first Call of Duty in a while that's actually going to be good? Now, that's all up to debate as far as your own personal preference and opinions. And this is going to be a video just discussing my personal preferences as far as Call of Duty. Now, as far as my history with Call of Duty, I haven't been playing that that long compared to other YouTubers. The first Call of Duty I picked up, I can remember, was Modern Warfare, the original one, but I wasn't aware of the whole online scene. So I basically bought the game, played the campaign, got bored, and then just never played it again. I was never aware that there was this huge online, basically like a uh, community of just like gaming online against other people and the first time i really delved into it was modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 3 was pretty fun for me because i didn't really have anything to compare it to so it just like widened my eyes to a whole new experience and then when black ops 2 came out i was just absolutely in love i love black ops 2 and i know some people out there absolutely hate the game i personally liked it so if you also were a fan of black ops 2 then this video might be informative for you as far as your opinions on this game if you haven't already purchased black ops 3. so as far as black ops 2 like black ops 2 was just for me the perfect call of duty because i felt that it had a lot of fun with it it wasn't very boring it wasn't monotonous it wasn't like t like tired tried and true as far as a call of duty game should be as far as all those older guys who or not older but as far as all the majority of the people who really think that modern warfare 2 was the like the pride and joy the actual like jewel of call of duty and i wasn't around during that time so i'm not sure i can't really speak as far as modern warfare 2 but i like black ops 2 so that's all i'm going to say about it but now black ops 3 i think is you know as far as the fun factor it's definitely brought in some new fresh air when it comes to call of duty because when ghost came out i was very excited for ghost thinking that it was going to be a really great game especially being the first call of duty on the next gen platforms and after about maybe a week or two it kind of lost its luster and i didn't really enjoy playing it very much to the point where i absolutely just despised the game altogether and i just absolutely stopped and that's basically when i started revamping my channel trying to change some things because i definitely wasn't going to force myself to play like call of duty ghosts and try to keep that going because i just wasn't having fun with the game so that's why all that kind of stopped and when modern or when advanced warfare came out i tried to get into that game i tried it here there played probably more more advanced warfare than I ever did of Ghost, but eventually I just didn't really feel that that game was very fun for me. I didn't really get the motivation to play it, to grind in the hours necessary in order to unlock everything that you need to, as far as just to, you know, get all the stuff that you could possibly get. And so I basically stopped with that game as well and tried to do other ventures, try to do other things to try to incorporate different content with my channel. But now Black Ops 3 has finally come out, and I have to say after the 46 hours I dedicated to this game so far, now the first about 25 was just troubleshooting trying to get the game to run well during the first week of the PC release, which I'll also get into here in a little bit. But this game is just overall fun. Like I feel that I'm really motivated to play this game whenever I come home and I have some free time. I want to jump on to Call of Duty and actually see how well I'm able to perform against other people here on the PC. Now a few weeks ago I talked about how excited I was was for black ops 3 to come out because i played the beta and it was overall a fun experience so i was really excited to actually get the full release of the game and play it but like many pc users out there we just ran into nothing but problems now there were some people out there that claimed that they had no issues at all that they were able to play the game flawlessly and they even had some fixes for us but i tried every fix i could possibly do tried every combination of settings even like dropped all the settings all the way down where it just looked like complete ass and it still was giving me issues and the issues i was facing were frame drops where i'll be playing the game running around the corner and when it seems like whenever i change the scenery or someone was running after me the frames would just kind of like start dropping where it wouldn't like allow me to aim at anyone properly and it just lagged and it just made it a very frustrating experience where i just didn't want to play and i didn't really want to do anything with the game but i still tried for 25 hours on trying to get the game to run properly but i couldn't until a week in a few days later when they finally released a patch that fixed the game and i was able to play and now i'm having an absolute blast with it but during that time that the game was released like i purchased it for the playstation 4 tried it for the playstation 4 ran perfectly fine but i really just didn't want to dedicate a whole lot of time on the playstation 4 and so i i don't know i just i bought the game i played it for a bit it was fun but then i just kind of stopped because i wanted to wait for the pc to be fixed and then just start dedicating all my time on the pc and it finally did fix so 
I'm having fun and I'm definitely finding some fun guns that I enjoy using. As you see on the gameplay now, I'm using the P06, which is the third sniper that you get and it's just an absolute beast. It takes a little bit to charge up and fire, but once you are able to fire and you hit the opponent, the rewards for your persistence is, and I guess precision is very uh, high. Like it kills in one shot for the most of the times. It could go through walls. It's just a beast of a gun. I really enjoy using it. And that's the gameplay they're seeing here on the screen. But as far as is this game worth your harder money is it worth like your time to invest in the game and i feel honestly it is but it all depends on who you are and what you're kind of into as far as what your fun factor for call of duty is i know there's a lot of people out there who prefer the world war ii scene they prefer a tactile scene they don't want to run wall jump and like do all these crazy acrobatic maneuvers they just want to have boots on the ground and just running forward and basically just doing that bullet exchange of doing head glitches or maybe no head glitches where they want to just kind of focus more of groundwork and you know to you guys out there who prefer that this might not be the game for you but i honestly feel that this is a lot of fun and this is coming for someone who didn't really enjoy advanced warfare i didn't enjoy advanced warfare very much at all but yet i'm having a lot of fun with this game where i'm getting to the point where i am starting to prestige and i'm trying to max out my weapons trying to unlock camos which is something that i would never ever do with ghost and i definitely wouldn't do with advanced warfare because those games just weren't fun so if i was to actually grind at the game it would be like actually getting off from work or getting done with school coming home and just actually doing work or doing like more work just to i guess enjoy a game that wasn't very enjoyable at least that was my impression of it so that's basically it as far as the video as far as my opinions uh the guns i think are fun there's definitely some overpower guns there's definitely some underpower guns but i'm not sure how much of a patchwork that Treyarch's is going to do they're probably going to patch a lot of things in order just to keep the consumer base happy but i feel that if you over patch things or if you just basically patch all the weapons to make them the same then what's the point of having those weapons so I don't know, this is just my opinions on some things like that. I did find some cheaters here on the PC. This is one thing that some people kind of don't want to go on the PC as far as playing on the PC versus PlayStation 4 is because they think that every lobby is going to be a bunch of modders, hackers, or things like that. But as far as out of the 46 hours I played, I only found one dude who was cheating, which I recorded the gameplay, and I'll be able to share that with you guys here in the near future. And as well as this gameplay here that you're watching now, this is recorded in theater mode. So if you feel that my aim is a little bit off, sometimes it's just the joys of theater mode. But this game is recorded at 4K resolution for your guys' enjoyment. So hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, I played this on my 1080p monitor because I don't really enjoy playing on a 28-inch 4K monitor. I'd rather play on a 1080p 24-inch, but that's just my personal preference. But that's it for the gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoy. As you see here, my friend Etika from Etika World Network is here in the game with me. He was at the beginning clip there. And I went 29 and 6 on the PC on Black Ops 3. But anyways, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys again in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.